Welcome back to John's Garage. Today, we're gonna to take a deeper dive into this Porsche 928 V8 engine and look at all the things that are worn out. And we're also gonna be looking at some of the technical details of this motor, specifically the uh, oiling system, the cooling system, and other uh, you know unique details for this engine. Now we're gonna have a look at the oil pickup and the pan. The pan is baffled, it's got these four baffles. Uh, I think when I redo this for high performance use, I, I'm probably going to maybe put some baffles on the top as well, so the oil can't splash up. This is the uh, pickup tube, and it's got a nice screen and a nice, very large pickup tube into the oil pump, which sits right here. So this is the oil pump pressure uh, device. I guess this. I guess it's got, uh, one aspect that reads pressure and another aspect that reads pressure light. Uh, this is thermostatic as well. There's a spring in here and this is a, a thermostatic element. This sits in here and it thermostatically uh, controls how much oil goes to the oil cooler. So I presume when it's cold, it's going to bypass the oil cooler. And as it warms up, the oil cooler bypass will close and it would allow the oil to circulate to and from the block oil cooler lines. The next thing we're going to do is get this uh, oil pump pickup off and get this cradle apart, have a look at the oil passages. So in this segment, we're going to start removing the connecting rod bolts and all the bolts that hold the block together. It's a split block, so the crankshaft sits between the two block halves. All right, so I got the first piston out, and it's uh, it's got some interesting aspects to it. So let's have a look. So first, we have the wrist pins are floating, and it's kind of a short rod, and um, piston does have some some uh, pretty deep gouge here on the skirt. But I don't, I don't think that's uh, material. I'll have to look at the bore. Uh, this, this engine has not been running a while. These, these rings are definitely stuck. These uh, pistons have an iron coating in them called, I think it's called ferrostan. And it allows this, this aluminum piston to ride in a, an aluminum bore. And the <clears throat> ferrostan or iron coating is supposed to, you know, be kind of a dissimilar metal situation. All right, so, so far, uh, the only thing I found remarkable uh, in this engine is stuck piston rings. Now, stuck piston rings are one of those things you hear about, but you don't always get to see, or at least I haven't. And um, so he here's a, an example of a stuck piston ring. Now, this, this second ring is doesn't really want to move all that much. Okay, there it goes. And now this top ring, is totally stuck. I'm going to set this piston aside and we're going to finish taking off these uh, these two remaining cradle bolts and then I'm going to try to separate the bottom cradle from the you know the two halves of the block. I'm going to separate those and then get the crankshaft out so it can go to the machine shop to be offset ground for more stroke and the block to be bored for more uh, cylinder displacement. Now we're going to try to separate the block half. Now the, the block half uh, has oil galleries running through it. So I know that there is sealant on those oil galleries and that sealant is going to try to keep, you know, the separation from happening. All right, so the block halves are about ready to come apart. Wasn't all that bad, took my time. I'll just slowly pry it off. I gotta get this crankshaft out. Seal. Going to garbage. And she's out. Okay. So, let's have a look at these main bearings. And they're fine. 
This thrust bearing seems good. So this is a nearly perfect block. You can see those oil passages right here. They're very obvious. All right, so now we're gonna have a closer look at the bottom of this cradle and the oiling system of a 928. So here is where the oil is gonna come up out of the filter, pressurized oil, and it's gonna feed these, go through these galleries here, and it's gonna feed these main bearings. And if you notice, this oil gallery is actually stepped. So it's pretty deep over here, and as it progresses, the oil gallery shrinks greatly. I guess that's to uh, keep pressure uh, kind of the same. You could see this gallery over here uh, takes quite a big step up. So that's the, I think this is the gallery. This is the 2.6, which is famous for not getting enough pressure and wiping out the connecting rod bearing. So looking at this crankshaft, this engine clearly had an easy life. I mean, there's absolutely nowhere anywhere to be found that I can see. I'm also uh, happy to see that I'm gonna be offset grinding this crankshaft. And there's a lot of overlap between the connecting rod journal and the main bearing journal. So my, my plan is to take this down to about one, take these connecting rods down to about 177 or 45 millimeters. And uh, looks like that isn't gonna be a problem. There's lots of overlap to be had. So this is the infamous 2.6 oil gallery. And there is a line here it's a little darker than all the others. But I don't know if that means anything, but what I am happy to see is this oil gallery here is offset towards the outside. We're gonna be taking material off from the inside. Uh, so that would actually center that oil gallery, which may improve the situation. I did wanna take a minute to have a look at these bores. These are Alicil bores, which is a process uh, where they uh, bore the cylinder and then the final hone uh, just removes a top layer of aluminum leaving a raised silicon wear surface and uh, you could see how effective this is I mean these bores are beautiful there's a nice dark gray almost mirror finish to them and absolutely no wear. So it's uh, quite an amazing process. This is a open deck block. And there are guys pushing these to a thousand horsepower. Uh, whether they're open deck or not at a thousand horsepower, I don't know. Okay, so here we see the block all cleaned up and ready for its trip to the machine shop. At the machine shop, the bores are going to be getting machined to 104 millimeters, and the crankshaft is going to be getting its rod journals offset ground to 45 millimeters. That's gonna net me 5.7 liters compared to where it is now, which is five liters. This is gonna be a nice 15% increase in horsepower and torque, and that's exactly where I wanna be. Don't wanna go crazy with this engine because everything else kind of spirals out of control. The clutch then becomes an issue and the head flow becomes an issue and then the intake becomes an issue and so on and so on. So this will be a nice horsepower bump and really help bring this 928 into the modern era. In some of the coming episodes, we're going to be seeing the work being done at the machine shop and we're also going to be seeing the reassembly process and ultimately the installation of the engine back in the car.